Hi, welcome to part two of my Stephen King book haul. As I said in the part one, I was gifted over 50 books of Stephen King. So if you haven't checked out part one, make sure you do that. I will have a link in the description or somewhere around me if you want to go check that out. And I will probably have these in a Stephen King playlist at some point because as I read through them, I will probably try to review some of them. So make sure you look under the playlist and I will have both these book hauls and in the future, any reviews I do of any of these books. So after the first batch, there was some that I'd heard of and some that I hadn't and even some I'd read. Now on the last stack, and this will be the same thing. I'll let you know whether I've heard of it, read it, what my thoughts are on it, if I knew it had a movie to it. But if, if any of these you know had a movie to it and I don't mention it, let me know down below because I really would like to try to pair a book up where I read the book and then watch the movie. So again, let me know that because there's some here I haven't heard of really either. And as I said in the first part, I saw probably a good chunk of these older books when I went down to visit my aunt and I've only read a couple of them when, when I was a teenager. I read the on writing one that I mentioned in the first book or first part. I read that probably in my 20s but there is a couple in these stack that I've actually read more recently before I ended up doing this video. So let's see what I got here. First one everybody's heard of. It by Stephen King. I don't know why I like to say the by Stephen King part when that's pretty much what this whole video is about. And I've actually seen both movie adaptations of this, the one that was made for TV and then the one that they did more recently. And I would love to know your thoughts on which adaptation you liked better. In some ways I like the first one better. I know, I'm a little old school. Just because for me, I feel like the clown in that one was actually creepier to me than the one in the newer ones because he kind of looked more like a clown that would be at a kid's party like a more realistic type clown. But I know there's a lot of people, I know there's controversy of like, I like the fur, the newer one better, I like the old one better. So let me know your thoughts down below. Again, which one did you like better? But as I said, it is one I've heard of, but I've never read the book. So I'm a little scared when I actually read the book of how different the book's gonna be having watched both those editions. The next one is one I have not heard of and it's called Hearts, Hearts and Atlantis. I have not heard of this one. Um, again, I'm not sure. I don't have the dates of it when any of these came out off the top of my head. But like this one was from 1999. Yeah, I wouldn't have. I have not heard of it, but it is it could be interesting. It's weird. That's like Hearts and Lands, and it says like new fiction. I'm like kind of weird. But the cover has a lost cat. It looks like. So this could be interesting. Let me know if you've heard of it. Next one I actually read when I was a teenager, and it's called Gerald's Game. I enjoyed it. It was definitely like a quick read because when I would go visit my aunt, I was only there about a week, so I really couldn't pick any of the thicker books because I didn't know if I'd get through them. So Gerald's Game was one that I thought was interesting. There was a movie based on it, which I don't think a lot of people have heard of. So let me know if you've heard of the Gerald's Game movie. But yeah, and I do want at some point because in the first part, I... I talked about Misery and I read that one as a teenager. I'm curious about rereading it now in my 40s. Yes, I'm old. And this again was one I read in my teen years, so it might be interesting to reread in my 40s and see what I think if my views on it have changed. And if you're interested, I will try to put these in a playlist like I, I think I mentioned in the first one, but they'll go in a playlist. As I review any of them, they'll go into there just to make it easier. I'm probably not gonna review every Stephen King book that I read, just the ones that probably I have something to say. But if you'd actually want me to try to review every time I read one, let me know down below and maybe I'll do that as well. Okay, next one is Full Dark No Stars. I've not heard of this one at all. I have no idea. So let me know if you've heard of this one. <clears throat> the next is called From Buick, From, from a Buick 8. I think that's how you say it. From a Buick 8. Never heard of this one. But I'm assuming it has to do with an old car. I'm wondering, it says on the back there are Buicks everywhere. Like, is it going to be like a Christine kind of book? Oh, not Christine. Yeah, Christine. The car book that I did in the first one. Never heard of this one. Four Past Midnight. Not very familiar with this one. Again, some days I probably saw on her bookshelf growing up, but they're not like stuck in my brain as anything. I don't have much knowledge about this one. Next one is Rose Matter. Not familiar with this one at all. <laughs> the 
The next is one that I probably, in the first part, I told that seven of the books I was gifted I give to a friend to read first, to borrow, and that was the Dark Tower series. And then this one I didn't give her because I didn't realize it was part of it, I guess, is The Wind Through the Keyhole. It says a Dark Tower novel. So this must go with the Dark Tower series. So I'll have to let my friend borrow that when she's ready to. I will probably read the Dark Tower series later. I'm not really interested in reading a series of his right now. I want to get through the, the standalones first. Next is, he writes too many thick books. Under the Dome. So, not familiar with this one. There's a, briefly, I think I saw a booktuber mention it, but that was about it. So, so I'm not familiar at all with this one. It doesn't have a dust jacket, so I don't even have like a synopsis. And I really tried not to look at the any like inside covers of these too much. I really wanted my initial reaction of did I know about it or not. This one I actually read recently. Remember I said earlier that there's a couple that I've read out of the stack before I did this video and this is one of them called Insomnia. I might do a review of this another day <laughs> to give my thoughts on this one. It was the first I tackled when I got all these books and yeah definitely I'll save it for a review sometime. <laughs> the next one I had not heard of was Duma Key. I have not heard of this one. I'm not familiar with this one at all as well. But again, another thick book of his. This one is called Secret Windows. I'm wondering if this had a movie based on it and Johnny Depp played in it. I feel like I watched a movie called Secret Window or Windows. And I'm wondering if it was based on this book because of what the movie was about. It was kind of weird. It seemed right up Steve King, Stephen King's alley, but I'm not sure if this is what it was. So I'm familiar, but maybe not fully familiar on this one. Next is Sleeping Beauties. It says Stephen King and Owen King. I think Owen King is his son. Now I'm curious if it says anything. It should say something. Is it his son? Maybe? It doesn't really say. It says Owen King is the author of the novel. Da, 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 but it doesn't say maybe he's the son. Let me know if Owen King is his son. I've never heard of this one, <laughs> but I like the cover. It's got like butterflies, it's kind of pretty. But again, never heard of that one. Storm of the Century. It's an original screenplay, and I feel like I remember a movie called Storm of the Century, so I'm a little familiar with this one. This one's got a weird cover. It's called Just After Sunset, but the cover is kind of weird on the eyes. I don't know how well it's showing up, but never heard of this one as well. So again, please let me know down below if you've heard of some of these that I haven't and what your thoughts are. This is another one that I read recently called Cycle of the Werewolf. It's kind of a cute little, well not cute little, it's not cute. It's about a werewolf and each month he attacks somebody. Stephen King took some liberties of when a full moon would actually hit that month. So there is a little bit of that, but there's, there's actually like a little bit of some imagery a little to it. But I actually really like this. It was kind of nice to start. So it was a little weird because I did a short where I had these two in it. It's like I did a baby one and I did a monster one. So, but this one I'll probably do a better review when I do the insomnia review. Now these two go together only because they're the same book. So this is Salem's Lot and then this is Salem's Lot. But this is the illustrated edition, and this is just the old school edition. I am familiar with this because I know there was a movie or series or something based on Salem's Lot. And this one, I was saying it's illustrated. It's, I flipped through it earlier, and I'm going, there's not really a lot of pictures. I was trying to find a picture, but there wasn't a lot of pictures really. But these two go together. Last one is, or last two are Skeleton Crew, which I have not heard of. And the last one is The Talisman. I've not heard of. So let me know down below if you've heard of any of these. And make sure you check out part one and hit that subscribe button so you can be notified of future videos. And I have one last quick thing. There was also a magazine that he was in that was uh, has a short story in it. But this was pretty cool. And this was from 2003.